Hey guys, Nagraj here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new for my channel, please do subscribe. Today we'll see the difference between the list and set interface. This is most commonly asked questions uh, during the uh, Java Fresher interview or those who are looking for the Java knowledge, right? This concept is very important. In this video, we'll, uh, we'll see uh, the differences between the list and set and also we'll see the similarity uh, between the list and set. Okay. Okay. Before uh, going to the difference between the list and set, first we'll understand what are the similarities between the list and set now. Okay. Now we'll see some similarities between the list and set. The first similarities of the list and set interfaces is these two are interfaces, right? Set, list and set both are interface and these two are taken from the same package. It is coming from the same package that is java.util package. These two implements collection interface. Okay, these are major similarities between the list and set. So I have listed this as well in the below diagram in terms of the package implements and the retrieve element. So package in terms of list and set, we can see it is derived from the uh, same java.util package, both list and set. And these implements the collection frameworks as we saw in the previous diagram. These two interface from the same uh, collection interface. Okay. So we are using iterator uh, to retrieve the elements uh, in, term, in case of both list and the set interface. Okay. These are uh, some of the similarities between the list and set interface. Even though we have these many uh, similarities between the list and set, still we have some major uh, differences between the list and set. Okay, that we'll see now one by one. So first difference will be uh, element order. So a list uh, interface element orders will be in the ordered sequence and uh, the set will be unordered sequence. That we'll see in this example. Okay, so let me, I have created one class. Let me declare list interface. This, let me pass a generic as a string. So uh, created the list as object name. So list, so again string, this is the format to declare the object of the list. So I need to import, right? I need to import java.util package. List is, I'm importing java.util package. Still, it will show some compile time error. See, if you hover over in the list, it is showing that uh, cannot uh, instantiate the uh, type list. So let me take array list. So in that time, uh, I need to import array list as java.util so it will work now. Okay. So let me add some value list.add. Let me add uh, some as anyhow I have taken the string as a generic so I will add string value only java uh, value one. And I'll add some more values as well. To validate this iterate, I'm creating an object. So list is the object of the list dot iterate I have taken the method iterate as the iterator sorry iterator okay. so this object I've created I need to import iterator under java dot okay. once I get this so I need to let me create a for loop so inside this for loop let me create while loop as well because I need to take the values of this I need to iterate the value it dot as next I will use so in that case let me uh, print out those values okay I, what I have done here just have taken some values to the array list and I have iterating one by one so if I if I use the uh, if I run this program okay I will be able to get this order what is the meaning of the ordered sequence the value one value two value 3 like that this is order the order of insertion the same order of instruction I will get as an output if I extract the values right the same order I got if I use the set right so I will get the unordered thing that we will see now so let me copy this let me copy whole and uh, let me create one more object okay for set let me create more object for the set let me quickly check this instead of uh, this i will use set okay and the rest will be the same let me use in that case hash set okay hash set so in that case let me use the object as set 
so this will be imported from java.util the set will be imported from java.util so don't get confused so just i am creating the object for the as set interface now let me add this object let me use the same size i need to take from the set the rest all same so to make sure which data it is printing that i will make this out these are coming from the list elements okay and similarly let me add here these are coming from you can see some error here okay duplicate one right so let me add a iterator to something so that I can use the to differentiate these two so let me add some star over here okay so it will be a uh, clear for see I have created an array list object so our order will be one to six right so similarly same set of uh, has set object I have created and I inserted the same order value one to value six correct but see the difference here uh, if I run this program see list element will be in ordered one see output of the array list will be the insertion order only from value one to value six but in case of uh, has set there is no insertion order see by randomly it is taking the first values it is not in order one to six it is not there. somewhere it is four immediately three six five two one like that so that is the meaning actually it is not in a ordered one it is an unordered sequence right so this will be the uh, ordered sequence and set will be the unordered sequence these are first differences between the list and set so hope this point will be clear we will we'll quickly move to the next point so the duplicate element List allows the duplicate element and uh, set does not allow duplicate element. What it means? So if I add, so I will go to the same example. I will uh, do some changes here. So let me add the value one duplicate value, value one again. So some duplicate value added. Same value. Let me go and update in the list as well. Okay. So initially I have added for set. Now I am getting adding for the list statement which is says that list will allow the duplicate element because even though if we add a duplicate element that at the if we iterate those values so we should get the duplicate value as well but in case of the set it is not allowing okay only unique value only should display for me so that is a mimic so now i have made some the duplicate value here for both list and set let me run this program now okay so if you see now the difference right <clears throat> so list is allowing me to the same duplicate value but in case of set element right so it is allowing me only one values only unique values will be provided as output right it is not allowing any duplicate values that is the meaning okay next we'll quickly move to the next point so this is done now so we are good with the uh, element orders and next we'll, we, we saw the duplicate elements the next difference will be position access we can get the element of the specified index from the list using the get method but it is not possible in case of the set what it means see uh, it is saying that so we have a uh, option we have a uh, provision is provided in the array list right in the list interface like right? so if i use a list of dot get method so we have one get method here i can able to access some values so suppose i want to access uh, value 4 I need to pass index as a <coughs> since it is uh, index starts with a 0 0 1 2 3 I need to pass at a index as a 3 now it will it will provide you the output as a value 4 we'll see now so I uh, let me add a sysout statement let me go and update this one here okay. the index value so for differentiation purpose differentiating is a index value okay. now if I run this program I used to get value 4 as a output right see index value I got a 4 because I can I can able to uh, get the value whichever required thing by using the index but it is not possible in case of the set because insert not able to it is not provided any uh, get method options so even though if you uh, go and uh, get some value see we don't have any get method so next difference will be a null element 
so list will allows to store multiple null elements but in case of a set it is allowing only one null values so let me go and add some null values here okay so something went wrong okay so i added null value let me add one more null value here okay so similarly let me go and add the same two null values here so null value added into the set let me add one more null values fine if i run this program i see multiple null values allowed in case of the list element but in case of set it is allowing only one null element next one the implementations so as we saw in the previous in my previous video also we have discussed about the how the architecture of the collection framework there we have saw that the list implementations is array list and linked vector so maybe this diagram will be the more uh, clarity for you so array list linked list vectors are the classes these are implements the list interface but in case of the set right hash set and uh, linked hash set are the implementations of the set interface if these two implements the set interface okay so these are the uh, differences first we learned about the similarities of the list and set interfaces so in terms of similarities both set and list interfaces uses the under comes under java util package and implements the collection framework and the both will use iterator to retrieve the elements okay in terms of uh, differences right so first will be ordered sequence so list will be the ordered sequence and the set will be in the unordered sequence and uh, the element duplicate elements will be allowed in case of set list and uh, set it doesn't allow any duplicate values but in case of list we have uh, option to get particular index by using the get method but in case of set we don't have that option and uh, list will allow multiple null element as well but in case of set it is only one null value only it will allow so these are the implementations of the list and some of the implementations listed in the set so these are the uh, similarities and differences between the list and set hope you understand this uh, uh, concept and if you have any still have any doubt you please let me know with the comment section and thank you guys thanks for watching my video if you like this video please hit like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you